Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I really enjoy surfing outdoor. I like the fresh air, and I love the openness. In fact, stir frying is designed perfectly for outdoor cooking because of its simplicity. All you need uh, is some sort of a stove and the wok, and that's you can cook almost any food that you want. Uh, I am not much of a camper, but my friend Jeremy loves to camp, and he told me that the fast cooking system is perfect for camping. Uh, recently, a group of friends and I had a breakfast gathering in a park right next to a local river. And I cook a breakfast fried rice, but I had some help uh, in getting the things going. Uh, this fried rice is very easy to cook, and Owen is the son of one of the men, and he helped me out in getting the fried rice done. Uh, he cooked the fried rice in a, a propane camping stove. Uh, he cooked this fried rice in a 14-inch carbon steel wok. And this wok is a very inexpensive wok, and it costs only $15, and I pick it up at the supermarket Audi. And I think this wok has turned out to be perfect uh, for me to use to cook outdoor. I really enjoy using this wok. It is very well built. In fact, I did a video on this wok after I made the purchase, and I told a lot of my viewer about this wok. Uh, many of them actually went out to pick one up. Uh, this wok is very well constructed from carbon steel. It has a thick gauge carbon steel. Uh, this wok has no non-stick coating, or we call it a natural surface wok. And this wok can be easily seasoned uh, using my spot seasoning method. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this gives the wok a very nice non-stick cooked surface. Uh, Owen has cooked with me before, so he knows exactly what to do. Uh, he started out with about a two and a half tablespoon of uh, cooking oil, and I use canola oil for cooking this dish. But you can use any cooking oil that you like that with a high smoking point. Uh, we use twelve eggs to cook this dish because we have quite a few people, and I want to cook a large portion of fried rice. And at this point, it's very important that the wok is well seasoned because you do not want the egg to stick to the surface of the wok. Uh, to provide flavor uh, for the eight. Uh, I first start out by adding one teaspoon of uh, garlic pepper, and this is followed by one teaspoon of my basic seasoning mix. I cook this dish with the basic template using my fast cooking system, and the word fast is the acronym for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. Now, egg is an essential component of uh, any fried rice. Uh, however, the amount of egg that uh, you add is pretty much variable. Uh, you can add as much or as little egg as that you would like. However, in this dish, uh, we have quite a few people, so I'm going to make a relatively large dish. And since it's going to be part of breakfast, so I'm going to add extra eggs to this dish. Uh, there are many ways uh, to cook the egg uh, in making a fried rice. Uh, you can incorporate the egg into the fried in different ways. Uh, in this case, the egg is cooked first, and it is scrambled uh, before mixing it with the rice. Uh, using this method, uh, the egg will take on a more distinct flavor. Uh, in another case, uh, one fry the rice first, uh, and then create a space in the middle of the wok, and then you fry the egg. In this case, you fry the egg only for a short period of time, and then you mix the rice uh, directly with the half-cooked eggs. In this case, the egg is blended together with the rice, and therefore the flavor of the rice is less distinct. Uh, individuals have different preferences of how the egg is going to taste like in the fried rice. Uh, for example, in the case for my wife, she much prefer the egg that are separate from the rice, so she can taste the egg much better. Uh, however, in another situation, uh, some individuals prefer the egg integrate better with the rice. Uh, so now the egg is done, and next rice is add to the wok. Uh, this is a cooked long grain jasmine rice that has been stored in the refrigerator for about uh, 24 hours. Uh, here I use about 3 cups of rice. Uh, to pick up the rice, uh, the best way to do it uh, is use a very nifty uh, kitchen tools that normally for use picking up hamburger meat, and this tool is known as a hamburger meat chopper. 
This is an essential tool for making fried rice because this is the best way to break up the fried rice. And while Owen is breaking up the rice, uh, he is also breaking up the egg as well. Uh, after he break up the rice, uh, he switch back to the wok spatula. Uh, the wok spatula is essential for making fried rice uh, because of the construction of the blade of the wok spatula. Uh, you can use it like a shovel. Uh, next, uh, we add uh, some sliced sausages uh, to the wok. Uh, since this is a breakfast, uh, we want to include all the normal breakfast ingredients uh, to make this fried rice. Uh, to make this fried rice more flavorful and interesting, we added some frozen vegetables. Uh, this frozen vegetable contains four different vegetables. They are edamame, corn, green beans, and carrot. Uh, here I added about two cups of frozen vegetables, but you can add as much or as little that you like. But the frozen vegetables really add great flavor uh, to the fried rice. And you can add many different kinds of frozen vegetables depending on what is available. Uh, most of them will work very well. The only other frozen vegetable that I probably would add in addition to what I have added already is some sweet peas. And that works very well with fried rice. At this point, uh, the fried rice is almost done. Uh, we turn the heat down uh, to prevent the rice that get burned. And as you can see here, uh, the wok is getting pretty full. And that's why a 14-inch wok uh, is essential for making fried rice. Uh, this will prevent the rice from spilling out from the wok. Uh, so what we are doing here uh, is using a basic fried rice template. The most important part of this fried rice template is the rice. The rice has to be dry before you cook them. The rice is always uh, first stored in the refrigerator for at least overnight, if not longer. Uh, this will cause the rice to dry out. And for this reason, you never cook fried rice with freshly cooked rice uh, because the rice will become very mushy and they will stick to the surface of the wok and get burned easily. The second part of this template is how to incorporate the egg into the fried rice. And there are many different ways, but for this particular template, uh, the egg is fried in advance uh, before adding the rice to the wok. And there are many variations to this template. In some cases, uh, you break up the egg more uh, by scrambling them uh, harder. But in another case, like in how Owen is frying this fried rice, uh, he did not scramble the egg as much, and so the eggs are left behind in much larger pieces. And partly how we did this fried rice is intentional uh, because we want the egg more distinct in its flavor and add more distinct texture to the fried rice. It is through this type of variations that you can make adjustments to a fried rice dish uh, based on your personal preference. And you can also cook the fried rice differently each time by varying how you incorporate the egg into the fried rice. And this will provide a very different culinary experience. Uh, I call this approach flavor chasing, uh, which is an important part of my fast cooking system. Because through flavor chasing, you can constantly make adjustments uh, to the flavor of your dish, uh, depending on how you prefer the outcome to be. This template also allows you to make substitutions uh, depending on how you want the fried rice to be. Now, in this case, I use uh, sausage, but the sausage could be easily substituted with chicken or with ham. And furthermore, you can use many different kinds of vegetables to make the fried rice. Uh, this gives the template with a lot of flexibility. In the past, I have used many different kinds of vegetables such as asparagus, onion, carrots, scallions, and broccoli. And the reason that the fried rice is the most well-known and most beloved a Chinese dish all over the world is because of its flexibility uh, that you can cook almost any type of fried rice that you want depending on what is available to you. Uh, once the frozen vegetables are thawed and cooked to the desired temperature with the rice, uh, then the fried rice is done. Uh, I call this a breakfast fried rice uh, because it contains all the breakfast ingredients such as the egg and sausages. Uh, this dish is perfect for cooking outdoor because of its simplicity, uh, as well as uh, you only need a wok and a wok spatula and a stove, and that's all you need, and you can cook a very elaborate and delicious fried rice. 
I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine using my fast cooking system. If you would like to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you tomorrow.